Hi, this is Alfauzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is mode. We are going to see how to find the mode in the grouped data and the ungrouped data. First, I would like to start from the origin of the word. The word mode has been originated from the French language. It is just an expression a la mode, a meaning fashionable. Mode is nothing but the most popular number in any given population or data. And of course, it is an important measure of central tendency. Mode is nothing but the value which occurs most frequently in a set of observations. Simply put, it is the number which is repeated the most. That is, the number with the highest frequency. That is called mode. In the field of statistics, it is important it is an important tool and interpret data in a relevant manner. Now, it is possible for the data set to be multimodal too. In an example, you can also find many modes there. It is possible. I'll explain you with examples. Multimodal is nothing but having more than one mode, which means more than one observation has the same number of frequencies. Okay, let me take an example and explain you. Here is an example. Please uh, note down the data set given in this question. Here in these varied observations, the most occurring number. Please note that 4 is not repeated, 89 is not repeated, 65 is not repeated, 11 is given for 2 times. Am I right? And 54 is not repeated, 90 and 56 is also not repeated. So what does it mean? 11 is the most frequently repeated number in the given data set. So mode for this example is 11. Hence the mode is 11. Does this make sense to you? Okay, let me give you a pictorial uh, pictorial uh, representation for this example. Do you see in this figure the x-axis and y-axis? The highest peak will be called as mode. In bimodal, if you draw the figure, you'll be getting many peaks depending upon the modes in the question. Hope you're clear with this example. So for any ungrouped data, I mean the raw data, you just have to look for the numbers uh, how they are you have to check whether they are repeated or not in case if they are repeated you can pick the one that is most frequently repeated let me take one more example and explain you please look at the example a set of raw data is given 7 is repeated for 3 times and 12 is not repeated 14 is not repeated 13 is not repeated 1 is repeated for 3 times so in this example mode is 7 and 1 because these are the two numbers which are repeatedly most frequently. So what will happen if one is not repeated for three times? I have just edited the same example. Seven is repeated for three times but one is repeated just for two times. If that is the case, the example has only one mode, seven. Does this make sense to you? Okay, this is how we find the mode for the ungrouped data. Now let us move on to mode for grouped data. As we know that mode is the most frequently occurring number of a data set, this is easily recognizable in an ungrouped data set. By looking at the example itself, you can understand that. But if the data set is presented in class intervals, the work can be a bit tricky. So how can we calculate mode for that group data? Okay, let me give you these steps first. You have to create a table with two columns. Step two. In column 1, write your class intervals. Step 3. In column 2, write the corresponding frequencies. Step 4. Locate the maximum frequency and it would be denoted by F suffix M. And then step 5. Determine the class corresponding to FM. That will be your modal class. And finally, let me give you the formula for mode for grouped data. Here is the formula to find the mode when your class when your example has class intervals where EL denote the lower limit of the model class and FM is nothing but the frequency of model class H is nothing but the width of the model class and F1 is the frequency of pre-model class F2 is the frequency of post-model class So this is the entire formula Hope you are clear with this one now let me take an example and explain you how to find the mode when the data is grouped. Here is an example. Please read the question once. The pre-model class and the post-model class rectangles have the same height. 
of the moderate class is between 40 to 60 then what is the mode so please take down the given information from the question the moderate class has given us 40 to 60 so the lower limit is 40 and upper limit is 60 H is nothing but the width of the lower limit and upper limit so what is the difference between these two 60 minus 40 is 20 only if you add 20 to 40 you will get 60 therefore height h is equal to 20 frequency of the model class fm frequency of the pre-model class is equal to f suffix m minus 1 which is equal to frequency of post model class so they should be equal so now let us plug in all the information in the mode formula let me write the formula on the board here is the formula please plug in all the values L is 40 FM and F1 is FM minus 1 and 2 FM minus F1 is FM minus 1 and F2 is also FM minus 1 here so by plugging in all these values I will get so this could be written as the denominator you can use fm minus 1 the whole square will give you fm minus fm minus 1 the whole square will give you a plus b plus c the whole square will give you this expansion so I'm just going to rewrite this or I can just add all these 2 fm fm minus fm this will become 2 and 2 this gets cancelled out so negative over negative is positive so 1 over 2 now let's plug in L equal to 40 and H is equal to 20 here half times 20 is 10 40 plus 10 is 50 that's it for this problem the mode is 50 for this problem so whenever you get a word problem please read it twice and take down all the given information after that please read the question and uh, you have to finalize what the question is asking you to find and then move according to the direction step by step and solve the question so you have to use the appropriate formula to find the mode hope you are clear with this example so here is the next example if the difference between the mode and median is 2 then find the difference between the median and mode here I would like to explain you one concept mean minus mode is nothing but 3 times mean minus median this is just like a formula uh, we get this from the relationship between mean median mode this is the relationship between mean median mode you can note down this as a formula now we can just simplify it so mode and median is 2 3 times mean 3 times median so we can simplify all this we are just going to follow the algebraic steps if you subtract or subtract mean from both these sides you'll be getting 2 mean on the right side and if you add 3 mean on both these sides 3 median on both these sides it will be shifted here so it depends upon our convenience you can shift anything that so you have to bring the difference between median and mode you have to keep one side of the equation as median minus mean so let us simplify it step by step adding 3 median on both these sides subtracting mean from both these sides 3 minus 1 is 2 add mode on both these sides or you can just keep one median here and shift two medians to the other side multiply the entire equation throughout by minus one the reason I'm doing this step is I'm just going to change the signs taking two as a common factor outside the right side of the equation we get now please read the question mode and mean the difference between mode and mean is two so the left side would become two so you can now divide both these sides by 2 so you will get median minus mean is 2 over 2 which is nothing but 1 therefore the difference between median and mean is 1 so when you are starting with the mode median when you are uh, talking about the relationship between mean median and mode you should be familiar with this example hope you are clear with this example I would just like to give you the relationship between mean median and mode there is an interrelation between the measures of central tendency measures of central tendency is nothing but mean median mode so uh, professor Pearson has suggested an empirical relationship between mean median and mode so using that equation if the values of two measures are known we can find the third measure so this formula will be applicable when you are supposed to find the value of the third measure uh, given the other two measures 
so the equation is mean minus mode equal to 3 times mean minus median this concept will be helpful for you to find a problem dealing with mean median and mode so you can note it down so this is the relationship between mean median mode so in this video we discussed how to find the mode for the ungrouped data grouped data relationship between mean median mode and I have showed you few solved examples hope you're clear with the entire video in case if you have any query please let me know see you in the next video have a great